Now, Simba has had one of the most successful years when it comes to UK music, breaking through with the social media sensation track Rover. Let's go, she saw a young nigga pull up in the Rover. Now she says she wanna come over, yeah, but I don't want no love. I just wanna make the moolah love. Being only his fourth ever release, which at the time of recording is sat on 13 million views on YouTube and over 100 million Spotify plays in just over five months, which are already major numbers for a UK artist. However, in those five months, it seems as though either Simba has already run out of ideas or he hasn't realised he needs to capitalise on the success that Rover has gained. And if I'm honest, I think it's the latter. So will Simba be another one-hit wonder due to one track being so successful? Or is this just the beginning of his career? Well, let's talk about it. So, in recent years, we've seen many artists see their rise and then downfall with one of their tracks having major success on social media. But this level of success so early on in an artist's career is almost a curse in disguise, with the song being bigger than the artist themselves. And this is where Simba comes in. Like I mentioned before, it doesn't look like Simba is capitalising on the success that Rover has had, with in the past five months only releasing remixes of said song. So seriously, after four remixes of the track, has Simba already run out of ideas and suffering from his own charting success? And there is a high level many expect for him to reach now, especially when one of his first ever releases chart third in the UK and has so far had 18 weeks in the UK top 40. Now, only two weeks ago, Simba in collaboration with ZZ and Stilo G dropped his first new piece of music since March titled Worth It on GRM. Now, after amassing a good 502k views within a short time, it still shows that Simba does have some pull when it comes to having his name in the title. But if I'm honest, the positives do almost stop there, as he is the least impressive within the song, with ZZ carrying and Stilo doing his thing. Which, if I'm honest, made me wonder, has Simba fallen into the same trap that Rams did two years back when Barking Blue, and became the downfall of his success and also his mental health? So right now... It is too early to decide if Simba really is or will be a one-hit wonder. But let's see where he goes and takes his career next, as I myself really hope this isn't the end for him, as he brings a new positive sound to the UK scene that has been lacking for a while. And as coming across as a genuine guy when I've seen interviews with him before, it would be a shame to lose him to the success of Rover, being a potential one-hit wonder or find himself in a tough situation much like Rams, who has now had to reinvigorate himself and his style after the track Barking became bigger than his own name, but is now making the best music of his career, so I'd recommend checking out his new music as well. But back onto Simba. Will Rover be a blessing or a curse for his music career? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. You've been listening to The Noise Complaint, and I'm out.